Parents, beware. Your children, homeward bound from school, are being introduced to a new danger in the form of a drugged cigarette. Marijuana. A Chicago mother watching her daughter die as an indirect result of marijuana addiction told officers that at least 50 of the girl's young friends were slaves to the narcotic. Continuing addiction until they deteriorate mentally, become insane, and turn to violent crime and murder. Anslinger's campaign was tailor-made for the lurid tabloid press and supported by an army of moralist groups that captured the public's imagination. Movie Tone News, covering the world to bring you the news. He's a man that smokes that job, that job will take you for a tap. One zip, he's still the lap. When you smoke that kidney job. America is threatened by a new drug menace. Street corner vendors whose stock in trade is the deadly local weed marijuana pass it out in cigarette form. From ingeniously concealed containers, the reefers go to the waiting hands of deluded youngsters. Police find a city backyard full of dope. This innocent looking weed is Mexican marijuana, which when smoked produces more nightmares than opium. Captain Mooney of the narcotics squad will tell us something about it. The constant use of these marijuana cigarettes causes temporary insanity. Yes, Let's go, Jack. I'm red hot. state voted for the Uniform Narcotic Act, and so should yours. The propaganda campaign was successful beyond Anslinger's wildest dreams. One by one, state after state signed on. When you smoke that killing job. Gentlemen, take your seats. But now, Frightened out of their minds, the American public demanded that the federal government pass new laws to fight marijuana. Terrified voters wanted action, and their government responded. Without any public debate, scientific inquiry, or political objection, the Marijuana Tax Act was signed into law by President Roosevelt. The act prohibited possession of marijuana anywhere in the United States without a special tax stamp from the Treasury Department. And the Treasury Department didn't give out any stamps, effectively making marijuana illegal. Overnight, a new class of criminals was created. 